Hey folks, Chris Waters here with some exciting gun show news. Starting today, we're launching a new weekly incarnation of the gun show. It's called Weapon of the Week. Every Thursday, we're going to highlight a new gun, gadget, gizmo, glaive, glam drink, or other virtual weapon and deliver it to you with tips, strategies, all wrapped up in that kind of weird and unsettling passion for digital destruction that you all know and love. So without further ado, it's time for the Gun Show, Weapon of the Week. Today we're checking out Just Cause 2. No, not the three-year-old open-world single-player sandbox of madness. The still-in-beta open-world multiplayer sandbox of madness. This passion project is only available to the public during certain weekends, so you'll have to keep an eye on their website if you want to get in on the action. And get in on the action you most certainly wanna, thanks to two of the loveliest words in the English language, grappling hook. The first question you have to ask yourself is do I seek grappling combat, or do I seek grappling solitude? If it's the latter, hop in a boat, motor out onto the sparkling azure seas of Panau, then hook your boat to another boat, and it's time to make the donuts! If it's combat you seek, then abandon the embrace of the deep blue and head over to one of the reliable fonts of mayhem, like a military airstrip or the Mile High Club. Upon arrival, you'll likely find other players making an absolute mess of the place from one of Just Cause 2's many flying vehicles. Fortunately, you can take to the skies all by yourself with a little handy hook work. Grapple the ground nearby, pop your parachute, continue grappling to gain momentum, and voila, you're airborne. Now, let's go fishing for helicopters. If you hook a relatively small whirly bird like the Rowlinson K-22, the Panau Department of Fish and Game suggests a catch and release policy. We here at the Gun Show suggest a catch and shoot the hell out of it and bail out before it explodes policy. If you happen to snag a nice trophy copter like the UH-10, then land that beauty with a stunt jump, gut it with your sawed off shotgun, and enjoy your freshly caught conveyance. Mmm, -mm, tasty. But just because you're behind the sticks doesn't mean you're out of the woods. Other Ricos will be drawn to your glorious ride and will try to hijack you by doing their best wrecking ball impressions, what with the hooking and the dangling. Our advice? Find a nearby building and make all their demolition dreams come true. Some of the more splatter-averse competitors may come at you in helicopters of their own, leading to some aerial combat that, while enjoyable, just isn't grapply hooky enough for our tastes. Keeping in mind that all physical possessions pass like leaves on the wind in this brief, mortal life, ditch your perfectly good helicopter, stunt jump onto your enemy's perfectly good helicopter, and then share your zen philosophies on the ephemerality of life from the barrel of your sawed-off shotgun. If you want to kick your grapple game up a notch, then take the highway to the danger zone and get yourself a jet. Yeah! Oh, crap! They really take the phrase danger zone literally around here. Oh, well, nothing my big-ass cargo plane can't handle. Oh, crap! Okay, uh, maybe let's just hang out, like, a little bit outside of the danger zone and then just grapple the hell out of whichever pilot emerges victorious. Harrier jets will shake you if you aren't quick with the killing, but you can usually end up with a shiny new ride for no money down and very reasonable financing. Of course, the grappling hook is good for oh so much more than we could show you in a video of reasonable length. Like whipping other players, dashing uncomfortably close to other players, and honoring the memory of other players by attaching their corpses to airplanes. The grappling hook is a versatile, powerful, and possibly even magical weapon, which is why we chose it to kick off our Weapon of the Week series. Fear not, we're still going to have full-blown gun show spectaculars when games like Battlefield 4, GTA 5, and Call of Duty Goats come out. But in the meantime, you'll have a shiny new show waiting for you every Thursday. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and send us your suggestions over Twitter. Got a new gun you're keen on or an oldie but deadly you'd like to see featured? Hit me up on Twitter at CT Waters with two T's. Technically, it's three T's, but you know what I mean. And hey, thanks for watching The Gun Show Weapon of the Week.